bio-android fiend from the future. Fear, as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. If we don't do something about that monster, the Earth is finished. I hope you're ready for this, Kami. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, Kami! I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo.
Farewell, Kami. Please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right. I'm off. Same time, it kind of feels right. <sighs> Decided to show your face, monster? <laughs> What's going on? I can sense Goku's energy from this creature, and Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. Hmm? How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Just have to beat the answers out of you. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. <laughs> Special Beam Cannon! Why do you have Goku and Frieza's energy? I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Shiro created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Shiro again? Long ago, Dr. Giro gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. 
You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giraud's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future. Program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> Trunks, what's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> now not be the best time to battle. Very well, but know this. Android 17 and 18 will be mine. So <laughs> No! He scoped! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it, but the other one still remains. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Piccolo? Talk! What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? What is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here! Good. Here's what's going on. Oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him, or we need to find Androids 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the androids. I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them. Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger, 
I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan. Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. All right. Let's go, Trunks. Thanks. I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. Did it. Right. Now Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. And now we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Android 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right. But sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck! Thanks. Then, Trunks sought out his father, Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others, using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. A monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Well, come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! That cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? Great so. Go on, please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> huh?
If we approach Cell and they, we won't have to worry about him reading our power levels. Don't crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku! <laughs> Yo! How did you get here? Was it that instant transmission thing? Yep. Get back to 100% then? Yeah. But I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Camicolo! You don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that Cell guy. But I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait. No one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. Where do you think Vegeta and Trunks are training? Let's see. I'm picking up some energy way over there. I'm guessing it might be them. Goku! So, how's your training going? Not very well. My father's treating me like an obstacle rather than a training partner. He's been like that for three days now. Just standing there. That's Vegeta for you. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably thinking about how to go beyond Super Saiyan. Don't bother me, Kakarot. Get lost. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know a great place to train. It's called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. You can get a year's worth of training there in just one day. It's up at Kami's Lookout. Are you serious? Seriously. Come with us. You don't have to train with me or anything if you don't want to. Just so you know, two people can use the room at once. So to save time, you're gonna have to go with Trunks. I know, but we're going in first. Got it. Sure. So, we'd like to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. Is that okay with you? Very well. This way. The room comes equipped with a bath, toilet, bed, and food. Good luck to you. Are you sure you want me to train harder, Kakarot? My end goal is to take you out after all. It's probably gonna take more than one of us to take this enemy down. Go forward knowing that, okay? In the future, you may very well regret this. If it's okay, we'll head in first. Good luck, guys! And play nice! It's so hot. It's kind of hard to breathe, and the increased gravity makes it hard to move. And there's nothing here. It's just empty white space. Good. This is all I need. I... I have to spend a year in here with my father? Hey, you did want to train with me, didn't you? Then let's see what I'm dealing with. Show me what you've got. Huh? Right. Yeah! 
waste of my time. Ah! Is this really your power? I better not find out you're going easy on me just because I'm your father. No, it's not that. It's just... No matter who your opponent is, you come at them as if you intend to kill them, understand? You are a member of the proud warrior race of Saiyans. And on top of that, royal blood runs through your veins. My blood! I... I'm... not like you, father. <laughs> you coward. You're about to learn that nothing stands in my way.